Okay, in section 2.1. RA-8 interactive assignment, over the course of a decade, a certain police department issued 161.3 thousand speeding tickets. The ages of the females and males who receive tickets are shown below. Use this information to answer parts A through C. So the first column is the age groups. The second column is males in thousands, females in thousands is the third column. And if we total up the column for males, if we add these all up, we get 83.8. .8. If we add up the total column for females is 77.5. So for part A, it says the relative frequency is the proportion or percentage of observations within a category. And it can be found by dividing the frequency by the sum of all the frequencies. So here we're creating a relative frequency distribution. So the first thing we want to do is find the total number of tickets given to men by adding the frequencies of each of the male age groups. So we're adding these all up to get 83.8. .8. And then for each particular age group, we're going to take the amount of tickets and then divide it by the total. So 23.8, .8, which represents the age group of 16 to 25, divide that by 83.8 .8 gives us a relative frequency or proportion 0.284. The second age group from 26 to 35 is 22.3. We're going to divide that by the total again, which is 83.8, .8, which gives us 0.266. And we would continue for the next three age groups to get the following numbers for the relative frequency distribution. So this is the relative frequency distribution for the males. And now we're going to construct a frequency distribution of the females who receive tickets. So again, we're going to find the total of that column, which gives you 77.5. And then for each age group, we're going to take that number and divide it by the total to find the relative frequency or the proportion. So the first one is 22.4. So it would be 22.4. And that should be 22.4 over 77.5, which is equal to 0.289. 17.3 over 77.5 gives you 0.223, 12.5 over 77.5 gives you 0.161, and so on. And therefore, that's how we're getting the results for the relative frequency, frequency distribution for females who receive tickets. Okay, now for part C, we want to be able to construct a side-by-side -side relative frequency bar and make the height of each bar equal the relative frequency of each category. So if we want to do that, we want to go ahead and then open up the assignment. So I'm going to open up the assignment and then I'm going to open up at the top here in the top right. It says click to copy the table so we can open it up in StatCrunch. So I'm going to open up in StatCrunch. Okay, so we want to be able to construct a side-by-side -side relative frequency bar graph. Now, if you notice here that the numbers that are in here are from our regular data that we got at the beginning. What we want to be able to do is we want to be able to create the relative frequency. So what we can do is we can come in here and then change the numbers that we have into our relative frequency. So we have 0 0.284 for the first one, 0 0.266, 0 0.184, 0 0.118 and then 0 0.148 and then we're going to scroll down a little further and then put in the female relative frequency so we're going to put in 0 0.289 0 0.223 0 0.161 0 0.106 and then 0 0.221 so now that we've done that now we're going to be able to then create a side-by-side -side bar graph from the summarized data. Okay, in order to do that, we're going to go first to our graph, and then down below, we're going to go to chart, and then select columns. And now once we've gotten to this part, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to then select the columns. So if we select the first one, it's going to go into that particular box, and we have to hold down the control button and then select the female so that they're both in there. And then the row labels in, we can then use age groups. 
we have it in worksheet. And the last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that this is a vertical bar. And a vertical bar, we're going to have it split. So now we're going to select Compute. And then if you notice here, it's going to be similar to what we have over here. So it goes from 0 all the way to 0 0.3, so it doesn't go above that. And then we have our age groups down at the bottom here. 